I'll be looking out for the reaction, bro. Hello there, from Orlando. How are you doing, Cam? Good. We're walking into Megacon right now. It's uh, about 80 degrees, windy. It's about 10 a.m. and hot. Uh, hot, Florida heat. It's a beautiful day, though. We're still maybe a little tired from yesterday. We were at a uh, Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios, but today is a new day. Meeting some people from Cobra Kai, possibly uh, one of my favorite heroes from a comic book. I don't want to reveal too much. Heroes but... might be a <laughs> anti heroes. anti hero by Taylor Swift. Anti hero. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be fun and. Lots to do today. I'll show you guys everything just like I did for Atlanta Comic Con. So stay tuned for another action packed mega vlog, dare I say. Sorry for the cringe pun. <laughs> Security got our badge, which is right here. Boom. We're about to enter MegaCon. They're playing the song music. This place is like the John Wick Club. Let's get it. So we're out here, we looked around, I'll put some like montage of all the stores we saw, but we're in line for Sholo right now. Jacob actually not gonna be here, kinda sad. We were planning to meet Sholo and Jacob. Uh, Jacob's flight got delayed, now he's just gonna be here on Saturday. We're only here Friday, so that kinda sucks because we're really looking forward to meeting Hawk. I was most looking forward to meeting Jacob. But still excited to meet Sholo. But yeah, looking forward to that. And then John Bernthal isn't showing up till 5 p.m., so we may or may not meet him, but Still lots to do, lots to look around. This place is like 30 times the size of the Atlanta we were at, so it's a little overwhelming, but I've cooled down. I was sweating profusely. I'm a big sweater. I was sweating profusely uh, walking like a mile to get all the way back here. Like it's going through damn airport security, but we're here now and uh, still waiting in line. That's all I've been doing today. Waited, ate, woke up, ate breakfast at the hotel and uh, waited in line, so keep you guys updated. A few hours later. All right, so it's many hours later. Um, many, 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 <laughs> many. It's unfortunate, but a lot of like the early part of the day was spent waiting in line with no results. Like for example, I think I told you guys earlier we were staying in line for Sholo, and then he just wasn't there forever. And so we were like, well, since we don't know when he's showing up, we're just gonna go walk around. So we walked around, looked at a bunch of different places, and then of course right when we come back, he's there. The line's extremely long, so we're like, okay, we'll go do something else. By the way, Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand, who plays Hawk, wasn't there and he was supposed to be here today. Bummer. We were excited to meet him. So that happened and then I wanted to meet John Bernthal of course and his, he also got delayed so he's not really going to be here which is a bummer but I'm going to insert this footage right here of a pretty exciting encounter we just had. Hey, how are you guys? My name is Chris. Nice Pleasure. Yeah. Show them. Hey, nice Sorry. to have a bags in my head. <laughs> no, no worries. Pleasure nice to meet you. Too. Yeah, big fan. I'm, I'm incredibly pumped for season six to see where they're headed with their character and everyone. Me and too, man. They, I, I, we're going to film next month and I still have no idea what's going yeah, on. That's so. what they said like it's a month ago at ATL Comic Con. Oh, okay. I'm not telling you guys anything. Yeah, they they really <laughs> like. It's honestly a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Like when we were doing that <laughs> tournament season, yeah. they didn't tell us up until like the very end, and I was like, but I want to rehearse the fight. The day of. I want the fight to be super sick. But yeah. they yeah they keep it they keep it like a, a yeah. little uh, treasure box. So I guess uh, it's good. Yes, I guess I guess. Sure, for I guess. Other, for people that aren't you. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. But uh, can I make this out to you guys? Or yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Right. yeah, for him. All right. Uh, to Chris, C H R I S. I actually have like a YouTube channel. Like, I oh, no way. Yeah, Cobra Kai for the first time like early last year. No way. And I did like reactions to each thing. And I met a really cool community through it. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So. What other what other shows do you react to? Or um, I we're big Stranger Things fans. Oh, okay, so, nice. Yeah, we nice. do a lot of Stranger Things content. Are any of the Stranger Things guys here today? I don't think so. Not no. today. No, no. Um, but yeah, Stranger Things is our big thing. He started watching Cobra Kai like for his YouTube, and then because you know filming a reaction video to each episode and then editing it, it was taking him a little bit of a while to get through it. But uh, by season two. It's all he was talking about, so I was like, I want to watch it. Oh, but I speed yeah, yeah. watch shows, so he was like, you What does that mean, speed watch? Like, I watch really fast. When I watch Cobra Kai, How do you watch it really fast, It was within, like, Background four days. All day. No, I just sit down. <laughs> she, she, oh, you binge? I, yeah, I just watch. Uh-uh, I like, thought you were really saying, fast. like, you just go, bop, 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 No, I watch like, faster <laughs> than him. 
So he was like, you absolutely cannot start it until I finish it, because I would have finished it in like three days. Yeah. And okay. He was, she he would, but now you I guys would, are both caught up. Oh, yeah, yeah, fully. Yeah. Okay. Fully. I watched the show over months, and then we binged it in like three days. And then I finally <laughs> was allowed to watch it. Whoa, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, guys. Yeah. Also it. super excited for Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. Yeah. Trailer Monday. Thank you guys we'll so much. Sure. Trailer Monday. <laughs> Trailer Dude, Monday. I'll, We've been I'll be looking out for the reaction, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you guys to see it. You want right. picture? Yeah, please. Let's do it. We met Sholo Maradueña, who plays Miguel, and we got his autograph right here. He was super cool. I think like I think it's way easier to talk to someone. He's like our age. Like he he's actually younger than us. Which we would have gone, no, but like we would have gone to high school with him. Like that's he's like within four years of us. Yeah. And so it felt super natural, and like the way that he was just chill. I told him about film stocks. Yeah. Uh, talked about Blue Beetle. He confirmed Trailer Monday. I'm sure when this is up, the trailer will already be out, but still, he super said show. He said he'll keep an eye and out you know for your reaction. Yeah, so I'm gonna tag him, and if he watches it, that would be legendary. But what's really cool is I bet Jacob uh, Bertrand would be like that too. Like I want to meet, I want to meet Mary Mauser, Tanner, all I of like the younger cast. I need to meet Jacob because yeah. I know me and Jacob are yeah. just platonic yeah. soulmates. Yeah. Hey. So we got the crew behind us. Hey. It's nonchalantly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're rocking with right now. It's massive compared to Atlanta Huge. Comic Con. Huge. Like, I don't, like, we don't even know where to start. Maybe We've triple. Done some, and by we, I mean I. Yeah. Some shopping. I found, I've got a keen eye for some Funko Pops, but yeah. It's been fun, and we're going to keep on having some fun, and might have some more surprises in this video. I'll show you guys later. A few hours later. I'm sweating profusely. The air is cranking. We just walked a bunch, and we're going to have a big old update when we get back to the hotel, so stay tuned for that. But it was a very fun, tiring day. Lots to discuss. I'm excited. Okay, so we are back from... Uh... I've clearly <laughs> changed. <laughs> yeah, we're back from MegaCon, and just like every other con or anything else we do in Orlando, a lot of steps, a lot of walking. The feet... The feet are burning, but um, we did it. We're getting to a haul of everything we got, and then I'll recap the day before I do that. So, 8,899 steps. That's light work compared to a park. Yeah. It's just because we were standing in line for a long time, which we'll talk about now. First thing we did when we got there was go over to the back corner for Sholo and Jacob, who play uh, Miguel and Hawk, respectively, in Cobra Kai. And Jacob had a flight delay that actually deterred him from being there at all today. So, that was kind of upsetting. We were excited to meet, you know, Hawk himself, Eli, but. It is what it is. Uh, so we were in Sholo's line and he just wasn't there forever. I think I talked about this in the video. He eventually showed up after we had left to look at other stuff, but we ended up meeting him. This was right here, as you guys can see. A thing of beauty, truly. So, to Chris. No mercy, Sholo Maradona. Oh, he wrote no mercy on it? Yep, right here. That's cool. And silver, it looks sleek and nice. I can't wait to add this to the collection with the Martin Cove one. Put a little exclamation point. Yeah, so he's a really cool dude. You guys saw the full interaction in the video. He's awesome. Yeah, I wish that they had a Miguel Funko Pop. They need to release all the Cobra Kai Funko Pops. What are we doing? It's honestly rude at this point, but that happened, so that was really cool. That's all I ended up getting merch-wise at the con. Cam has some Funko Pops. I have a lot of things um, that so I let's bought. See let's see them. As you guys know, we say this in every video that I'm a part of, I am a shopaholic. This is true, I see no lies. First Funko Pop, it's from Movie Anastasia, which is a really good movie, one of my faves, and I love the soundtrack. And Chris actually spotted this. Here you go. You I did. It. I had a keen eye and I spotted this. He spotted it and pointed it out to me. And I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. 2022 Funko Summer Convention exclusive. Then, as you guys know, I'm on my Lord of the Rings kick. Middle Earth era. Lotter. So I got this Funko Pop, which is Frodo, but like invisible Frodo. And then I got this pop of Elrond. Yeah. Hugo Weaving. One of his better roles, I'd say. It's crazy how he had that role. He was also uh, Agent Smith, and he's uh, Red Skull. So he's in a lot of iconic franchises now, I have to think about it. I got a lot of really cool art pieces. I got these three to kind of go together. This one, it's really cool. It's like the ring, and then we've got the Shire, and then we've got Mordor. It's beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful artwork. Beautiful. And then I've got these two to accompany it. Kind of the same vibes. It's Gandalf's staff, and then Aragorn's sword. Very pretty. I got this beauty of a print. This would be Eddie's guitar. If any of you know me, you know how I feel about Eddie Munson. And then got this behemoth of an Eddie print. It's beautiful, you guys. It's literally the most gorgeous thing I think I've ever seen. The artist, I think, is really talented. He was really nice. He signed all of his artwork, and I'm really excited to go home and find frames for them and put them up on my wall. A lot of cool artwork at these cons. That's honestly some of my favorite thing, at least in the ones I've been to, is checking out all the artwork that they have, because Artist Alley, as they call it, is awesome. Yeah, this Artist Alley was, like, really yeah. crowded. We're going vlog style the rest of this thing. 
This artist alley was like pretty crowded just because obviously this con is more crowded. There's more artists, there's more people walking artist alley. So it was kind of a pain to walk through. We didn't even get to look at all the booths, honestly. It was like but 30 times the size of Atlanta Comic Con. <laughs> I was really only just keeping an eye out for anything Lord of the Rings related, trying to limit myself to yeah. what I buy. How's Fair. that working out for us? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you did better than I thought you would, to be honest. Thank you. Um, but yeah, now we have some food on the way. We're exhausted. So We're going to Universal tomorrow and then Epcot, so we still have a lot of walking and traveling left to do. But I also got to meet Sean Chandler, which, as you all know, a true legend and inspiration in the movie YouTube community. I'll nice. put a picture right here that I took with him. I also met Cody Leach, very cool dude. Boom, put it right there. Sean Chandler, got to talk to him for quite a while. Just an awesome, down to earth guy who, I mean, it was great to just meet someone that I've really been watching on YouTube since like 2018, 17. I remember. Uh, we talked about it even, what, it was like 2018 before I ever had a channel or anything. Oh, uh, like Cam and I, yeah, Cam and I were dating. Since so the beginning uh, of our relationship. Yeah, so it's pretty wild that I finally got to meet him and, um, had a lot of fun, really, it was. So, yeah, that's another con in the books. Megacon is in the books. We only did day one. We might come back for more days next year. We'll talk about it. We got a whole year to decide, but that does it. And, uh, I have fun doing these vlogs. Hope you guys like them. Hit the like button. Comment down below, you know, your favorite celeb you've ever met, your favorite con. Yeah, subscribe to Cam's channel. All of our stuff is linked down below. And we'll We'll see you guys in the next video, vlog, blah, blah, blah. Peace.